So imagine if you were God. Oh boy. And it was time to gather the important people. Right. Who would be the important people? Oh, um, dead or alive? <laughs> I think alive in this one. There's yeah. probably a group of about five people that I would, I would have. What I love about this Parsha, Nitzavim, ah, Nitzavim, that's the one, is that when God gathers the people for this important moment of establishing a covenant, mm -hmm. God gathers all the people, like literally all the people. God mm -hmm. gathers the tribal heads, the elders, the officials. It says all the men in Israel, but right. maybe the women could have been a part of that too. Also, your children, huh. your wives, the stranger, and the woodchopper, everyone from the people that you would assume God would want, like the important people, right? but also just everybody who was there, the whole community had to be a part of that moment. So they're all VIPs. This is what it means to be part of the Kahila Kadosha. Everybody's included. Everybody's included, everybody I like that. Together. So it was sort of a trick question at the beginning. A little bit because I knew the answer. Boom. Anyway, we want to say, come to Torah study this Shabbat at 9 a.m. in the Bendelin Conference Room, and then you may want to join us for Arab Rosh Hashanah and Rosh Hashanah services. And wow, I'm so glad you're here. It's going to be a sweet new year because Rabbi Mason Barkin and the Cantor and I get to work together for the first time for High Holy Days. And we love apples and honey. We do. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.